Are you looking to move to the triad area of North Carolina, but you can't decide which city you want to move to? Is it Winston or is it Greensboro? Well, look no further because in this video, we're going to break down the key differences between the two cities to help you make the best decision for you and for your family. So stay tuned. I got you covered. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lynette Selby Real Estate. In today's video, we're going to talk about two cities here in the triad, Winston and Greensboro. So let's get started. So Winston-Salem and Greensboro are both located here in the Piedmont triad region of North Carolina. Winston-Salem is the fifth largest city in the state, while Greensboro is the third largest city in the state. Both cities have a rich history and a diverse population, making them ideal places to live, work, and play. As a real estate agent, one of the most important factors to consider when choosing a city to live is the housing market. So Winston-Salem and Greensboro have different housing markets, so it's important to to understand the pros and cons of each. So in Winston-Salem, the median um, home price is around 232,000, making it a really affordable option for home buyers. However, Greensboro's medium home price is around 339, which is still very affordable compared to many other cities in the, in the country. Both cities have a variety of neighborhoods to choose from. So it's also important to, to work with a realtor who knows the area well and can help you with that process. Another important factor to consider is the job market. Both Winston-Salem and Greensboro have strong job markets with a variety of major employers and industries. In Winston-Salem, some of the larger employers include Wake Forest Baptist Health, Haynes Brand, and the Reynolds American Tobacco Company. In Greensboro, major employers include Cone Health, the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, or UNCG, and Honda Aircraft Company. In my personal opinion, the best things about Winston-Salem and Greensboro is the variety of cultural and recreational activities available. So Winston-Salem is known for its rich arts and cultural scene with a variety of, of museums, galleries, and theaters. In Greensboro, you can enjoy a variety of festivals and events such as the National Folks Festival and the Greensboro Food Truck Festival. Both cities have a variety of outdoor activities such as hiking, biking, and kayaking. For families with children, one of the most important factors to consider is the quality of schools and um, universities in the area. So Winston-Salem and Greensboro both have excellent schools and universities with a variety of public and private options available. In Winston-Salem, some of the schools include Reynolds High School and the arts-based schools. In Greensboro, some popular schools include Northern Guilford High and Grimsley High School. Both cities have great universities such as Wake Forest University in Winston and UNCG, of course, in Greensboro. So whether you're looking for public schools or universities, you can find great options in both Winston and in Greensboro. Another thing to consider um, when choosing between these two cities is the cost of living. So according to bestplaces.com, Greensboro is about 1.7% more expensive than Winston-Salem. Greensboro housing costs are about 6.2% more expensive than Winston-Salem. Health-related expenses are about 3.4% less in Greensboro. So, in my opinion, this all means that you can get more bang for your buck if you choose Winston-Salem over Greensboro. And finally, it's important to consider the overall um, lifestyle and culture of each city. Winston-Salem has a rich history and is known for its arts and its cultural scene with attractions like the Renoda House Museum of American Art and um, the Winston-Salem Symphony. Greensboro, on the other hand, is more urban, I guess you can say, and has a bustling downtown area with a variety of shops and restaurants and nightlife options. Ultimately, 
Whether you choose Winston-Salem or Greensboro will depend on your individual needs and preferences. If you're looking for a slightly lower cost of living and a strong sense of history and culture, then Winston may be a good fit for you. But if you're looking for a more urban lifestyle with a vibrant downtown, top tier um, universities, then Greensboro may be the better option for you. But either way you go, both cities really have a lot to offer. So what are your thoughts about Greensboro and Winston-Salem? Leave me a comment below and let's talk about it. But thank you so much for watching and I hope this video has helped you get a better understanding of the differences between Winston and Greensboro. But if you have any questions or if you would like to chat about whether Greensboro or Winston is the right place for you, all you got to do is schedule a call with me. I'll leave all of my information in the description box and we can um, schedule a call for a time, a day and time that works best for you. But again, thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you next week. You take care. Bye-bye.